Nicole here for Netbook News. This week shows about transformation because we are here at Sunset in Taipei. Now, to start us off, I'm going to talk about a Transformer Netbook cover from Soncom. You can actually win one of these. I want to mail it to you. So please embed this video on your site and leave us a comment. So embed away and comment because look at these look at these covers. You can actually see like the 3D metallics and they're pretty cool. So I want to mail one to you. Let's make it happen. Now to continue on with the transformation theme, let's take a look at what Milton from Vodafast has done to his first generation EPC. He's actually brought it back to life by turning it into a home server. He's going to show you all the free programs that he downloaded in order to make this happen. So let's get right to it because it's pretty cool. Okay, hi guys. This is Milton. And here I've got an uh, 18 month old EPC, which, which is the, the classic one. The uh, the EPC 701 4G without the webcam version. At the, uh, at the time I bought it, I I thought it was going to be the one that I bought, and to to have some web web serving in in cafe. But I found it the the keyboard and the screen was too small. To, to blind type something or documenting. So, I stopped bringing, bringing the, the machine as I, instead, I reconfigure it into a, a NAS, an FTP, by using free softwares. And I remote control this machine from another one of my laptop. By Ultra VNC and also by a small program I found on the internet, it allows me to to tweak the Celeron from the default 630 to 900, and it allows me to to play a 720p video smoothly. And where'd you find that, uh, that program to tweak your... Uh, that's... It's from uh, EPC user uh, in .de, I think. That's where I found it. And you can see that the performance is good enough to play a 720p video. And, and this is going to be a NAS in my home that my father, my brother, my families they can get a sex, get access to those mi multimedia files, MP3s that we don't have to keep uh, one copy each on our machines. I've got another program. It's DN, uh, Dynamic DNS, where it's free to register online. It's a free service. Then, with a Dynamic DNS, I can get access to uh, to the machine from from work, or allowing my friend to log on my FTP or HTTP and get those files they want. So that's how Milton transformed his first generation EPC and made it into a home server. He brought it completely back to life. Old netbooks are not dead, do not throw them away. Find a use for them. So let me know what you've done to your netbook to bring it back to life.